ways that we can compute an F statistic when given a p-value. The first way instead of Excel is to use the command equals F dot INV. This will give us the area to the left of whatever um, this, this corresponds to the area to the left of whatever the F value is. So that's why we would need to use 1 minus the p-value. So let's say we have a p-value of, I don't know, let's say uh, 5%. We would need to use 1 minus 5%, which will be 0 0.95. And then we need to have our two degree of freedoms. So based upon our first one, that's just the um, sample size. Well, um, the first sample size minus one. So let's say that was, I don't know. Let's say n was three, so n minus one, this would be two. And then let's say we have the sum of all the sample sizes minus the sample size there. So big N minus little n. Let's say big N was, I don't know, 20. So we would have 20 minus three, this would make 17. And we hand her. And we see that the F value that that corresponds with is 4. Likewise, if we wanted to use then the right hand tail of that, we could use this f.inv.rt. So equals f.inv.rt of that p value, which is 0.05. Um, n minus 1 was 2, and capital N minus little n, we were saying before, was 17. Which would also give us back that same F statistic of 4. So do note both of these being the same, as long as the probability that you type in revolves around 1 minus the p-value for the first equation, or the actual p-value for the second equation for the area in the right-hand tail.